Hello, everybody, and welcome back to N90X. I'm Joe Moses, your host, and today I want to talk to you about a different subject. That is a Linux distribution known as EasyPC 1.6. Maybe you've been curious about Linux. Maybe you, whatever, for whatever reason, maybe you haven't played with it. Or maybe you're looking for a lightweight Linux distribution that you can put on a netbook or maybe an older PC that perhaps maybe you're going to give to your, you want to give to a friend of yours or a relative but you'd want it to be easy enough for anyone to use. Well, easy peasy is the ticket. Stay with me, we're gonna talk about it. In this lesson, I want to cover a few topics. The first is where to get Easy Peasy 1.6. Second thing we're going to do is we're going to boot Easy Peasy, an ISO file, into a VMware virtual machine. Now, of course, if you wanted to, you can install this directly onto a PC, a netbook, a legacy laptop, whatever you'd want. But this is the process we're going to go through. We're going to first boot up the ISO image into a virtual machine. Then we'll actually will install the image into the virtual disk so that in the future we will boot from the virtual disk itself. We no longer need the ISO file. Then we're going to explore Easy PC. I'm going to show you around, show you where you can update, show you some of the programs that you can use, and show you that it's quite actually quite powerful even for advanced users. You've got a Unix shell, everything. And then I'll conclude with some final thoughts. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is go to www.geteasypeasy.com. And this is the home page of Easy Peasy. You want to click on Get Easy Peasy Now. And click on Download Easy Peasy. It's going to bring you to a SoundForge distribution site. It's 839 megabytes. Now once you have the distribution, you're going to go into VMware in this case, I'm on VMware Fusion, but you could be on any VMware, VMware Fusion, VMware Workstation, whatever you have. You're going to create a new virtual machine, so new file, new, create a, click this to choose a disk or disk image. And you're going to navigate to your desktop or wherever you put the Easy Peasy ISO, and you're going to grab it. Easy Peasy right there. Okay, then you're going to continue. Now the operating system is Ubuntu, so it's Linux. It's Ubuntu. I believe it's 32-bit. Well, here's the default settings. I'm going to accept the default settings and click Finish. This I'll save this in my Virtual Machines folder, and I'll call it Easy Peasy 1.6. Now you're going to see Easy Peasy booting up for the first time. I'm going to go full screen on this. Now Easy Peasy is actually booting from the ISO file into virtual memory of this virtual machine. It hasn't actually installed anything yet and it won't install anything until we tell it to install. So okay, uh, it's telling me that the Ethernet connection has been established. I've got uh, power, I've got Bluetooth, network, audio, um, it's connected. So this is the first step. Now I could just run like this. This is basically running as like an open CD uh, on my PC uh, as a virtual machine, but nothing ha actually has been installed. Okay, so the first thing I want to do, uh, as I mentioned, is install it. So we click on this on the favorites, click on install easy peasy. Now this is going to take the easy peasy ISO file and install it into this 20 gigabyte virtual disk that we configured before. I'm going to click on forward. Uh, you can pick your language. I'm picking English. Pick your time zone. That's cool. I'll, I'll pick that. Um, USA, yep. American keyboard. Click next or forward. And prepare disk. So yeah, here's this, this 21.5 gigabyte VMware virtual disk that we set aside for it. Uh, we will erase and use the entire disk. I'll just go forward. Now, what's your name? Give your give your 
give yourself a name for your computer and choose a password to keep your account safe. All right, it's just a fair, fair string password, it's fine. Click forward and it's ready to install. Everything looks good, install. Now this is gonna go ahead and create the file system, copy files from the ISO file, and basically install the I, the Ubuntu operating system with this GUI. And the great thing about it is you only need about four four gigabytes of, of storage space. So that's why I say if you have a very small hard drive or you have a netbook, maybe you have a netbook with flash memory, this is a perfect companion for that. Or in this case, I'm installing it onto a virtual machine so that I, whenever I want to fire up a Linux distro, I have access to it on my Macintosh through VMware Virtual Machine, through VMware Fusion or VMware Workstation, whichever you might have. So this is all in real time. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm letting it run the whole course, and it should it should finish pretty quickly and within a couple of minutes. So while we're installing this, <clears throat> I want to cover some of the reasons why you might use this. Let's say you have an older laptop that it's not really something you want to throw in the trash, but maybe uh, a grandparent or an, uh, a friend has a need for uh, a computer. Maybe you don't want to buy a license for Windows, uh, Windows 7. Or maybe it can't run Windows 7 and you don't want to run Windows XP anymore because you know it's end of life is coming. So easy peasy might be a great way to do that. Install it on one of these uh, older machines and you're good to go. And I'll, and I'll show you just how easy it is to use. Now I don't know if I want to skip this. It's installing, I don't, I don't want it to download. Look, it's downloading packages, downloading language packs. I don't need any language packs. So I'll skip that. One thing that's really great about this distribution is the, the, compl the complete control that you have over languages, the customizability of it. It's very impressive um, for something that's such a lightweight package. You'll see that the after we do this initial installation, um, I'll do a restart now. It's extremely small. Easy peasy is rebooting, and the time approximately four minutes from start to finish. That's weird. Well, it's rebooting. Okay, we're back up into Easy Peasy. This has now installed Easy Peasy into my virtual disk, and we, we can check that. Easy Peasy, it's 3.95 gigabytes, the entire package. So it's pretty small. Update Manager, of course, well, that's one thing I want to talk to you about. Update Manager is running. If you wanted to update, uh, get your updates, you can go to Update Manager. Update Manager is here. If you, if you, in favorites, you have Ubuntu Software Center, and that's where you can also get other um, applications provided by Ubuntu or by other partners. So I'll close that for now. That's so that's where you would hear Ubuntu Software Center. You can get software under System. You can get the updates. So where updates you might get security updates. Uh, language updates, whole host of updates. Um, mostly things I don't need. Whatever you might need, here here it is. Um, what what I think is most important for most people is to be able to figure out how to get a, get around on these things. Right. This is the first thing they saw. It'd be pretty easy for them to click on Firefox web browser and go to wherever they want to go. Maybe CNN.com. Right. Check out the latest news and 
and here they're able to surf the web. Maybe they want to go to YouTube, just click on plus, go to youtube.com. You know, welcome to YouTube, here we are. Um, cancel, where's my cancel? Cancel button, cancel. So there's youtube.com, so, so surfing is very easy and very straightforward. That's um, easy peasy. So the applications, by the way, as you might have noticed, you have this taskbar up here. Each application that's running will put itself up in here. So if I want to close, so these are the tab bars for the browser itself, right where I can close this tab, close this tab, I'm back to the main page. But if I want to close the browser, it's, it's over here. I could leave it for now, right? It's still up there. It's still running. See that? It's up there and running. I click on it. I come back to it. If I wanted to go to someplace else, let's say I wanted to go to um, this webmail. This will step you through. And I don't know why this is. Oh, you know what? Let's fix that. Let's fix that. Screen resolution. How do we fix the screen resolution? It's got to be in system. Keyboard monitors. Here we go. Monitors. That's it. Here's where we can adjust the monitor. Let's get a bigger mon resolution. Let's get. Oh, there we go. 1040, 1024 by 768. Come on, at least get that. Big. Ah, that's it. Keep this configuration. Okay, apply. Okay, so that's cool. We went into monitors. Um, you see, it's it's geared for the the netbooks, which have a smaller screen resolution. But I'm just going to go. But when I go back to this, I'm getting the full page. So where I wasn't getting everything fitting on the page, now you can see that everything's fitting on the page page a lot easier. Let's go back to YouTube. Yeah, everything's fitting on the page a lot better because I've got that extra space. So let, let's close that off. I go to maybe accessories. I've got a calculator. Quickly do, oh, what's um, 69 times 3, 207. You know, i got a calculator here. I can put it away. Internet. I got Skype. I can fire up Skype. Um, a BitTorrent client right there. Um, what's, you know, Office. I've got pretty much the full suite of open office I've got some sound editing tools um, movie player what what I'm really impressed with is that this movie player that comes with this distribution was able to play some of the most current torrent downloads uh, xvid or whatever you want to call it torrents that I had it played it no problem other distributions just the, the movie player wouldn't do it so that's one thing that's really user friendly for this thing of course, we've been in system. You've got Office. You've got some tools. You've got internet tools here. You got some graphics tools. Um, a lot of people like Picasso. There's a scanner here. Um, another op the Open Office drawing tool which does vector graphics. You've got some games here. Uh, accessories. Uh, the terminal. So for an advanced user who might want to do some terminal stuff, you know, we've got that. We've got we've got access to the shell here. I mean, to, to the terminal. Who am I? Well, let's close it. Let's quit this. Who am I? Joseph, right? Um, I have access to a command line. And of course, you know, once again, I can just minimize this. How do I minimize it? So, or switch back to my calculator, switch back to uh, my browser, instantly switch between these, these different tasks. It's very, very cool. I'll close it off. Uh, I just closed it down. Really, um, and then click on the lemon, get you back to your, your main that's what I want to show you that so for an advanced user who might need shell commands you've got access to the, the shell you've got access to different utilities the, the main thing the browser Skype um, editing tools whatnot it's all there now if you wanted to um, and so this is how you would close up some programs you can right click and close it I can right click and close it right I can right click and close or I can of course I can go to file and quit or control Q save these tabs save and quit uh, you got your mail program 
Empathy IM IM client. Of course, you can install whatever you want to install. Uh, when you want it to shut down, over here in the upper right hand corner, you can log out, you can hibernate, you can restart, you can shut down. You can lock the screen also. I don't have a password, so what's going to happen? If I do this, I don't have a password. Whoa. Oh, wait, no, I did put a password in there, right? I did. <laughs> Good thing I remembered it. Okay. <laughs> I did put it. Whoa, whoa, what, what, what? Unlock. Okay. I did put a password in. So that's why. Uh, go back to accessories. What's that trend for? Um, sudo. Yeah, it's working. So as running it as an administrator. Um, I can run top. Okay, so that's that's working, and that's that's really about it. It's very lightweight, as you can see. It's very straightforward. It's very simple, and easy to use. If you've got Bluetooth, you've got Bluetooth. You can turn it on. Uh, it's on. I'm gonna turn off Bluetooth. Um, here's preferences. Talk about power and general preferences. Um, here's your audio. Sound preferences. Um, you can set up chat, set up mail, set up a broadcast account. It's very, very cool how this is set up. It's very simple. I mean, again, it's not overly powerful, but again, it's not overly complex. So for an elderly person who maybe is not very computer literate, for them to boot up a machine, go to Firefox, check their check their email, um, chat on Skype, you know, using the Internet tool. Very, very easy, very convenient. Maybe you have a few games they would play. Uh, but most likely they would be just doing that. Maybe if they have to read some office documents or type something up, they've got Office, Open Office built in here. So and a uh, mail and calendar. So really, a quite a nice lightweight system. And to shut down, you just go here and shut down. And I'm going to shut down this. And that concludes the demo portion for Easy Peasy. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs>